Hey guys, what's going on? It, I know it's Wednesday and I'm posting a video. I should be working, but I'm not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, I am going to do a comic book review. When it comes to Avengers books, it's either hit or miss. Sometimes it, it could be like the most awesome book in the world or sometimes it could be pure shit. <laughs> um, this one is not going to be pure shit. So if I'm going to do a review... It's usually because I like it. But without further ado, let's get into this. And I'm going to be reviewing The Mighty Avengers Assemble. Uh, this was not um, like a long-lasting book. Um, I did a video of my top, what was it, five crap books that you should really stay away from. Um, the Mighty Avengers Dark Reign is pure crap. It's just, it's just horrible. I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, but this first volume, this collects issues 1 through 11, I think are the best out of the, the whole series. Um, some of the secret invasion stuff, is it, it was okay. It, it, it was nothing to write home about. But um, yeah, this one, uh, it just says, yeah, Mighty Avengers Assembled. So <clears throat> this is basically... Uh, Tony Stark doing up a new team. And uh, I'll just read the synopsis in the back here. Uh, when Iron Man forms his new team of Avengers, Miss Marvel, Black Widow, Ares, The Wasp, Wonder Man, and Sentry. You know, you gotta admit, that is a cool lineup. Uh, having, uh, like, Miss Marvel and Black Widow all in the same group. And Ares, the, the, the poor man version of Thor. You know, Ares does not give a shit in this book. Um, let's see, uh, they hit the ground running when Mole Man attacks New York City and an old menace returns with a new look that's decent, de decently sexier. Uh, we'll get into that one. Um, the Mighty Avengers must face not only the threat of Ultron, but also an outbreak of Venom symbiotes and a pitched battle with supervillain Supreme Doctor Doom Lewing. Over everything is the threat of a stall invasion and danger within their own ranks. That that is a lot for just two volumes of books. It's just like screw you guys. We're just throwing everything at you. Um, yeah. So basically, in the first one, Ultron does come back. He um, <clears throat> Tony Stark is still the director of Shield at this point. Um, or just flip through. Like, look at that. That's a variant cover. I wouldn't mind getting that. That's pretty good. awesome. I've always been a fan of uh, Wonder Man. I got a bunch of his books. So it kind of starts out as the team's going into battle. Uh, they jump back and forth. Uh, how Tony assembles them all. They're attacking uh, Mole Man's creatures there. So, yeah, so it basically jumps back and forth, back and forth. Kind of gets confusing, but it all works out. Now, these are all the heroes that he wants to recruit. So, you got, like, the Patriot. <laughs> Deadpool is funny. Uh, Falcon. Uh, Darkhawk. I don't know who that dude is. Uh, they got Wiccan there. They got uh, Hank Pym there. There's a bunch of different dudes. Howard the Duck. There's a little... I heard the duck there. Yeah, but he's trying to pick. So he's got Carol Danvers, Miss Marvel, trying to help him. And, uh, of course, uh, Carol Danvers is going to want Wonder Man in there. Because they're buddies. Decent, decent art. Uh, who did the art for this? Uh, uh, Frank Cho. You know it's a Frank Cho book when the, the women's booties are huge and so are their breasts. Yeah, so they pick uh, the Wasp, which is an interesting choice. Uh, she, from from that point on, she really hasn't been um, in the books all too, too much. Uh, but it was nice to see some of the classic Avengers come back. You got uh, Wonder Man there. And the Sentry, which was an interesting choice. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about 
the century. I just think he's an overpowered guy. Uh, not too much of the story-wise I can really say that, you know, he's just, I don't know, he's like a lame Superman. Um, Black Widow, awesome Black Widow. Now, when they recruit Ares, he's working in construction, and um, they're tell he's he's telling them how much he makes, and uh, Carol Danner goes, what? Maybe I should be in construction. That was pretty funny. Where was it? Oh, uh, he goes, uh, do you know I made $44 an hour here? And Miss Marvel goes, really? It's just like... Because he's, tr I guess he has a kid, and he's trying to support his kid, so he wants, uh, he wants the mula. But we all know that he dies in, um, oh, what is it, fear? No. No, it was Dark Rain that he died in. Uh, Sentry tore, tore him in half. To find Mole Man. I don't think Mole Man gets enough, enough, uh, Comic time. I always found him to be an underrated villain. He could be. He could be better. And there is the sexy Ultron. It looks a lot like Wasp there. I like that cover. It's just like she's cracking out of the shell of Ultron's head there. So it was. So that's what basically this is. They're trying to um, beat Ultron, doing some backstory stuff. Aries just goes right after. It didn't work. That was pretty cool. I like the, I like the first, I like the first six issues. I think those were my. This is my favorite um, uh, story of the Avengers. It's just really well well written and amazingly drawn by uh, Frank Cho. Oh, classic Ant Man! There we go. I think that's Hank Pym. Tony Stark had to put on it, um, do his old armor. It was the only armor that uh, Aldron couldn't corrupt. But I liked it. It's a really good book. But. Now, in the second volume, is dealing with the symbiotes. But, uh, as you might know with the secret evasion stuff, um, uh, Spider-Woman brings Tony Stark uh, a scroll of Elektra. She basically kills her, I think, in one of the books. And she basically takes it to Tony. Now, this, now this volume was uh, drawn by Mark Bagley. Bagley. He did the Ultimate Spider-Man run, my favorite Spider-Man story of all time. I loved it, so it was nice to see um, his artwork because he does great Venom stuff. Uh, where is it? Yeah, all these little pods come in, and he he does great Venom artwork. I love it. How how messed up is that? It's like, you're rolling down your street with a child, and all of a sudden, boom, he's a venom. <laughs> I'd be shitting my pants. Like, look at that. That is just friggin' awesome. I love that. Now you learn in, um, what was it, Guardians of the Galaxy? On the new ones? Sorry, dudes, I'm like yawning like crazy for some reason. Um, that there's a whole planet of you know, sentient uh, symbionts, but they're not like crazy violent or anything. They they want bond. They're like um, I want to say like the Nova Corps. They want to bring peace and do uh, like police patrol stuff like that. And uh, I don't know why all these other symbionts go crazy, but uh, now you got some of the heroes that get bonded, which is pretty cool. Yeah, right there. Black Widow gets bonded. Uh, Spire Woman. Uh, who else gets bonded here? Oh, yeah. 
Here, you got Wolverine. You got Doctor Strange. Now this is all the the Human Reg Registration Act still. So, um, you know, Wolverine, Ronin, everybody's still on the run, and they're trying to not get arrested. There's a uh, Iron Fist there. That was pretty cool. But I did like this. The second part here. Now you figure, now you find out it's all has to do with Doom. And big battles, soon and Dooms, Latveria, and they got some gorgeous splash splash panels here, or splash pages. Like like uh, Mark Bagley knows how to draw. Like Jesus Christ, look at that. Those would be awesome posters. Then you got Iron Man, Doctor Doom fighting it out. Then you got this weird f comic book flashback with the Sentry. I don't remember what that's much about. But no, I liked it. I, I really, really liked this one. Um, if you guys have the money, pick this up cheap. Um, I got this... Oh yeah, I should say that in the back they got the little sketchbook. Which is a nice decent amount of little extras. I always like extras. But yeah, like I said, if you guys got money you can pick this up cheap. I highly recommend it. Um, new it is... Thirty-four ninety-nine U.S. So it's about forty, forty-something bucks Canadian. Um, I got this used. I think I only paid like not even twenty bucks for this. Not bad. But anyway, guys, that's it for this review. Let me know in the comments down below if you read this, if you're going to read this, uh, whether you like like this book. Um, throw me a like and if you have not yet subscribed please do because I always appreciate when you guys subscribe and give me some feedback to you know what I should be doing in my other videos because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm flying by the seat of my pants here people. All right and um, maybe I'll do another video today maybe I won't so we'll leave it up to that. It'd be a surprise. So I love you guys and I will talk to you later.